The next question we asked was, uh, how much exercise does someone need to do over a lifetime to preserve their youthful cardiovascular structure? So we turned to our colleagues at the Cooper Clinic and we partnered with them. Cooper Clinic is a center in Dallas uh, developed by Ken Cooper, where they have tracked physical activity and physical fitness for 40 years. I mean, Ken was very prescient in starting that database, and we've learned a lot from that and looking at people and tracking their fitness and their physical activity over a very long time. And we said, okay, we want you to help us find people who over 25 years and multiple visits to the Cooper Clinic have said on their questionnaire, yeah, I do no regular exercise. And we call those people sedentary. And we would allow, so two, um, less than two days a week of regular physical activity sedentary. Then we took people who did two to three days a week consistently over their lifetime. We call that casual exercise training. Then we looked at people who did four to five days a week. We call that committed training. And then a whole nother group of masters athletes who are called competitive training. And when we, we did the same techniques, we measured their heart compliance and their vascular compliance. And lo and behold, two to three days of exercise over a lifetime had no effect at all. It did not protect against that aging effect. Four to five days a week got us most of the way there, close to the competitive athletes, not exactly the same, not all the way there, but pretty close. So that gave us the sense that the optimal dose, if you will, of physical activity is four to five days a week over a lifetime, making it's gotta be part of your personal hygiene.